around noon, the winds will start to pick up. We have very high fire danger tomorrow. Warm temperatures, dry, windy conditions, and blowing dust may even mean low visibility across, especially the Front Range and the Eastern Plains as these winds really get going. At this point, we have winds around 41 miles an hour in Denver, 45 for Sterling, and 40 in Akron. We could see these winds tomorrow even higher, around 65 miles an hour during the day, and our humidity levels will go even lower. We're around 15 to 25 percent here for our area, 31 percent in Akron, and 23 for uh, Sterling, but tomorrow we're looking at 5 to 10 percent humidity. So as everything dries out, the winds pick up, and the heat goes up, we have this elevated and even critical fire danger here for the Front Range, and especially extreme here across the eastern portion of our state. Everything shaded in this dark uh, shaded area is the extreme portion of fire danger tomorrow, so especially across the plains. Red flag warning in effect for high fire danger all across eastern Colorado and for the western part of our state. Also added in here a high wind warning for Friday, and that means even from Denver all the way across the eastern plains, we could see winds gusting around 65 miles an hour. Now this is out ahead of this front coming our way, and this is going to bring rain and snow to Colorado and even cooler temperatures as we go into the weekend. In the meantime, clear skies here for the Front Range and the Eastern Plains. Beautiful night to be out for the Nuggets tonight in Denver. Temperatures in the 70s through 8 o'clock, and then we'll be in the 60s for much of the rest of tonight. Partly cloudy skies with lows in the upper 40s this evening. And by tomorrow morning, 40s and 50s is where we'll start out with our early morning temperatures and then we're going to warm it up as we get into the 70s by around lunchtime. We're going to have those gusty winds really start to kick in for the early and later part of the day. So it'll be windy and warm afternoon highs in the low 80s. We'll have those 80s and even 90s here across eastern Colorado in the southeastern part of our state. It will be extremely warm and dry tomorrow. Here comes that cold front bringing in late day showers up in the high country Friday night into Saturday with some snow. We could see a little light rain here for the front rain. Definitely cooler air moving in going into the weekend. And we could see five to eight inches of snow in the high country as we get through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the higher elevations. Our super seven day forecast 80s for Friday with our weather action day, high fire danger. Then we'll have 55 degrees on Saturday. If you are going up into the mountains, we're going to have some snowfall up that direction. Then we'll have 60s and 70s into next week with lots of sunshine on the way. Those overnight lows in the 40s.